Hi everyone, this is Dana uh, using Shotcut version 18.11.13 and in this video I'm going to show you how to record a voiceover and how to replace the original audio if you need to do so. So, um, when you first open uh, this version of Shotcut it looks like this. Um, I set up my folder to be the desktop and then let's say um, the name of my project and I will start. Now I'm going to get my video and drag it in the player. Okay, and I'll put it in the timeline. And now I have my video. I'll go to open other and select audio video device. And I won't do anything with a video input, so I'll just choose my microphone. Okay, and now you can see that already my microphone is catching the sound. If you have your speakers on at this point, you might want to turn them down or turn them off. So then we go to export. And you want to choose, go to audio and choose the wave preset file. Okay. And then you choose capture file. Um, sometimes this button may be hidden if it's a very small window. So you might need to scroll up and down. Um, but right now it's here. So I choose capture file. And uh, let's call it audio. And from now on, it's already recording, so I will need to edit that part. So I'm going to go to the beginning of my video and start playing. And now I can just record my narration and uh, talk about my trip and uh, the birds that I'm seeing and the fish that I'm seeing and so on. Okay. And now I stop capture. And now it's not recording anymore. But you can see it here and you can play it. Um, now I'm going to add an audio track. And let me make this smaller so I can see my timeline better. And I can just drag this audio file here. Okay. And just place it wherever you need to. So I probably want to delete some of that. Okay, and now, let's see, I will need to edit that part. So okay, I'm gonna go to the beginning. so it has my uh, voice over the video. And in this case, it actually works quite nicely because I have this really um, soft background just with the, the bird sound and stuff. But sometimes you might have a lou louder background or a background, uh, a background audio that you don't want. So in that case, you select the original clip and right click and you click detach audio and it will put it into this. Let me make this smaller. Okay, uh, so now you can see it that it puts the audio on a different track. Okay, so from here you can either directly delete it if you don't want it at all or let's undo that or um, you can turn down the volume in the section where you are speaking so let me go here and select the um, audio and S for splitting and then go here and tap S, it splits it again and then I just choose this fragment here and I'm going to apply a filter. So I go to filters and choose uh, audio and I want gain volume and from here I can turn it down a bit. Okay and then now what happened is that um, the original video audio it's going to be at a much lower volume 
uh, during the time that I'm talking. So this way I can make sure that my narration can be heard properly. So now you want to export your project. So just go to export. And remember we saved an audio file before, but now we want video. So I'm going to go to default and this will export it as mp4. And then this button, again, sometimes it's hidden, you might need to scroll up to find it. So just click export file. And both right, fine. And you can already see it working here. And the time will depend on how large your video is. And that's it. Thank you for watching.